China launched the world's first dual tower solar thermal power plant in the Gobi Desert. What exactly is a solar thermal power plant? Well, it's an innovative plant that combines 27,000 mirrors to create a shit ton of energy. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. China has made a revolutionary breakthrough in renewable energy. It's sort of like solar, but turbocharged. They have re-engineered this system after they just launched the world's first solar thermal power plant that utilizes a dual tower system to generate electricity in the Gobi Desert. Developed by the Three Gorges Corporation, a wind and solar energy company headquartered in Guizhou County, China, the new facility combines efficiency, innovation, and large-scale clean power production in one of the planet's harshest environments. Uh, deserts are uh, known for producing pretty much nothing, but that's changing. The Gobi Desert, the sixth largest desert in the world, located in North China and Southern Mongolia, is extremely dry, as most deserts are. It receives an average of two to eight inches of annual precipitation, with some areas receiving less than two inches per year. Yeah, that's in pretty serious, intense dryness. And here's the thing, there is an abundant sunlight of more than 3,000 hours a year, and this makes the Gobi Desert an excellent environment for large scale solar power generation and pretty much nothing else. The incredible solar power thermal station reportedly features two 656 foot high, 200 meter tall towers, each surrounded by a vast field of 27,000 mirrors known as heliostats. According to the South China Morning Post, the mirrors concentrate sunlight onto the towers where the intense heat reaches up to 1,058 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 570 degrees Celsius. Um, this melts and stores energy in a high temperature medium. The stored heat is then utilized to generate steam that drives a turbine and allows electricity production to continue well after sunset or even during cloudy weather. So it's sort of like solar without needing sun. Meanwhile, unlike conventional photovoltaic PV panels that convert sunlight directly into electricity, solar thermal systems harness heat instead of light. This makes them one of the few renewable technologies capable of providing stable, dispatchable energy that can be generated on demand. The dual tower design boosts overall efficiency by about 25% compared to conventional single tower systems. And I mean, really in theory, two towers is great, but I'm kind of, kind of interested to know how this would go if there were more than two towers. But anyway, this works because each tower captures sunlight at different times of the day. So like having solar panels on the east and west of your house, in a lot of places that works better than just north. While the east tower collects sunlight in the morning, the west tower takes it takes over in the afternoon. This is actually how my solar and my own roof works as well. In addition, two, the two mirror fields even overlap slightly, reducing the total number of mirrors required and cutting construction costs as heliostats account for nearly 60% of the plant's total expense. Guys, I use PowerShot for my electricity to charge my EV for free between 12 and two o'clock during the day. I'll put a link in the description. If you sign up with them, you get a $170 discount to sign up. Also, my solar and batteries. I've got a 50 kilowatt hour battery here and I've got a big solar array. So I pay $0 for electricity. That's including charging my electric car. Resync Solar is the company that I used. I'll put a link to them in the description below. This facility is part of a broader clean energy hub that also includes massive solar and wind farms across the region. Together, these installations are expected to supply electricity to half a million households annually. So, I mean, two towers have enough power for 500,000 households annually. That's crazy. That's incredible. For China, the project represents a strategic evolution in the country's renewable energy landscape, says Interesting Engineering. The East Asian country rapidly expanded its solar and wind capacity in the past decade, particularly across its western provinces of Gansu, Xinjiang, 
and Qinghai. And really, looking at the data, it's quite fascinating because it shows you that China is actually decreasing its use of coal over the past six months. It hasn't happened before in history, in, well, history, documented history. We don't have any history of China decreasing its use of coal. And for the first time ever, that's happened this year, directly as a, res- as a result of renewable energy. According to Wang Zifeng, PhD, a senior researcher at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, solar thermal power emerged not as a rival, but as a complementary technology to solar panels, capable of bridging the gaps in energy supply. China currently operates a total of 21 commercial solar thermal power plants with a combined capacity of 1.6 million kilowatts. Meanwhile, another 30 projects under construction will add roughly 3.1 million kilowatts more. This places China as a global leader in concentrated solar power deployment. Basically, China has enough concentrated solar power to power all of Australia. All of Australia. The entire country. Or it will within the next... 18 months. So this technology is quite interesting and the rest of the world is not really using it, but maybe they should be. Guys, what do you think about this? Um, Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.